Hi, Rimadas Podravskas here, Forex trader and programmer. I want to announce the new local trade copper 2.4 is officially released. I understand you may not have time or do not want to watch this video, but to avoid any misunderstandings and asking questions that are already answered on my website, please watch this until the end to learn about the latest changes in the new LTC. Ideally, you should reread the updated instruction manuals as well. First, I want to thank all of you who helped me to find errors in the LTC. I have been working really hard to fix them and make the software better than ever. And finally, it's here. Look for the link below to the page that explains how to upgrade to the new LTC. Now let's take a look what has changed in the new version. Number one. Better license, more options, and bigger value. I have upgraded every single LTC license there is and have added new options. Even the smallest license has more options than ever before. From now on, all licenses except for the light license allows you to have unlimited number of master and slave accounts. Light license can be used on a single computer while personal and manager licenses can be used on up to three computers. The VEP license obviously can be used on an unlimited number of computers if they belong to you, of course. Number two, partial close feature is enabled by default. From now on, the partial close feature is enabled by default uh, in the client EA. This means the client EA has the magic number set to zero as default setting. This is the biggest change in the uh, in this new release and it is the most important one. Because previously magic number was set to 60,000 by default. If you don't have open trades, you can go ahead and upgrade to the new LTC version right now. But if you have open trades, you should close them or set the magic number to the one you have been using before. Best option here is to load previously saved settings. Number three, currency suffix auto detection just got better. I have improved the code which is responsible for currency name suffix detection. Now LTC should have less trouble with this. Number four, third party trades are always allowed. Finally, the local trade copper allows you to have third party trades when you have partial close feature enabled. Previously this was a huge problem, but now that is no longer the case. Number five, Close Buy feature is now available. MT4 has this feature called Close Buy and it allows you to close two hedge trades of the opposite direction uh, in one take and save commissions on one of those positions. From now on, the LTC can copy this trading operation as well. There, there is a link below the video to the explanation about the Close Buy feature. Number six, a new risk option was added called lot money ratio. This is something a lot of people have been uh, asking me for several years already. It is not the most popular risk management option, but, it's, but I still find it really useful. It allows you to set the client EA to risk certain amount of lot size per trade according to the client account size. For example, you can risk 0.1 lot size for every $1,000 in your account. So when that particular account grows to $2,000, it will automatically start using 0.2 lot size. Read more about this new option in the new instruction manual. Number seven, trade copper works better with any non-forex pair. I have improved the code that is responsible for detecting the pip size on any forex and non-forex pair. This have improved trade copying on pairs like gold, silver and many other non-forex pairs. Also, a new option has been added called custom pip sizes. I have added this option because there are no standard pip sizes for indices and other non-forex pairs among brokers. This option allows you to override the pip size that the LTC will detect automatically. In 99% of cases, um, the new LTC will work fine on all forex pairs, but for non-forex pairs, you might notice that the pip size is different among brokers. Now using this new option, you can enter a comma separated list of custom pip sizes that your broker uses. Number eight, you can set the client TA to operate only during certain hours. Two daily time filter options have been added to the server EA and client EA. These options allow you to set 
one or multiple time periods to tell the EA when it is allowed to send or accept the trades from the master account. This allows you to set the EA to copy or not to copy trades during certain time periods every day. Number 9. You can set the client EA to operate only during certain weekdays. Ignore weekdays option has been added. This is where you can set on which weekdays client EA is allowed to receive trades from master account. Previously this was introduced in the server EA, but now it is available in the client EA as well. Number 10. You can set the EA to discard disallowed lot sizes. Every broker has lot size limitations and those are minimum lot size and maximum lot size. When the client EA needs to open an order with a lot size that is off the broker's limit, it will automatically adjust the lot size and open a tray. Example would be if the broker's minimum allowed lot size is 0.1 and a trade received should be placed using a lot size of uh, 0.09. The client EA will adjust that lot size to 0.1 and open it. The new discard disallow trade sizes option allows you to set the client EA to not adjust the lot size in, in such case and ignore such trade completely. Number 11. Allows you to ignore trades from a scalping strategy. MinTP allowed option has been added and this is where you can set a minimum take profit value allowed to the trades on the slave account. EA will simply ignore the trade completely if the TP is too small. This feature is added to protect your account from the scalpers that open trades with a very small take profit value. Number 12. Set the trade comments for the copy trades. A new option trade comment has been added. This allows you to set the trade comment for each trade that the client EA will open. Note that it works only when magic number is set to zero, which is now a default value. Number 13. More trade filters on the server EA. Now you can filter trades on the master account by trade type and currency pair. Number 14. New options added on the server EA to adjust a stop loss and a take profit. The server EA can now apply emergency stop loss if there is no stop loss on the trade before sending it to the clients. Also, you can apply take profit and stop loss multiplies. Note that this does not modify the actual trade on the master account. It will just send modified values to the client accounts. Number 15. You can ignore the trades that are too far from the master open price. A new option, ignore trades when too far, has been added to the client EA. With this option, you can control if the client EA should ignore or delay the trades that happen to be too far from the master open price according to your max price deviation pips value. By default, this option is turned off and this means the client EA will delay the trade until the price will return within your reasonable deviation range. If you set this option to true, the client EA will ignore the trade completely if the price is out of your allowed deviation range. I hope you will find these improvements useful. If you do not have a local trade copper software yet, it is the best time to start a 30 day trial right now. Local trade copper helps forex account managers to copy the trading positions between multiple MetaTrader accounts so they won't need to repeat the same trade operations on each platform individually. Please like and share if this video was helpful to you and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you have any more questions, visit mt4copper.com or contact my support team.